Hello, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be um, showing you my hooks. So recently I updated my hooks. Um, I've always liked the quality of these very inexpensive ones. Uh, they often can come in a set, you can fold them out and have all the different hooks in there. And I used them for many years, but in the last couple of years, I have found that the the stem, for want of a better word, of the hook is too narrow for me. I need something bigger. So what I started doing was adding masking tape. Sometimes we get quite fat. Um, it gave me a better grip. And also, um, I was at that time living in the Caribbean and it was quite sweaty. And it was quite nice to have something that, um, well, just was easier to grip onto. Then I came back to Europe and I ordered a bunch of inexpensive hooks from China. Once again, I loved the metal part. I was very, very happy with them. But the plastic is very hard. So unfortunately, I didn't use them often. Some of them I put masking tape on. Um, let me see if I can find one. This one over here, I actually used masking tape because the head was slipping. But I, this was a, a slightly softer, slightly softer uh, hook, but still not soft enough. And the thing is, I have these very expensive ones, um, but I'm not particularly happy with them. So I don't really use them. This is also an expensive one. Whoops, <laughs> sorry about that. I don't like the plastic head at all. This is a pony. So I very seldom used it, even though it has quite a nice handle, like a rubbery handle. But the head, no. So I've always come back each time to my inexpensive ones. And what I really like about them is that the head, the shaft part is straight. Now, I've seen quite a lot of different ones in the different groups that I belong to. The, the head seems to get bigger and bigger like this. But the thing is, I gauge my stitch size. Or I should rather say that the size of the, the loop of my yarn is gauged by this. Because when I crochet, I actually push it quite far back. Keeping enough tension so that the, the yarn becomes tight around the hook. And that is what makes my stitch size and my stitches all even. Here's a little butterfly I made. <laughs> um, and I hadn't really realized that until fairly recently when I started to look around for a solution to my problem. Um, my problem being that the handles are hard unless you want to go for an expensive one. This is this has also got a hard shaft in there. But look at look at the head size, it just keeps changing. And then recently I saw these are for needles. I saw something like this advertised just last week in which they had slots on the side with the different sizes. And that made sense to me because then you could slot your needle in, I mean your hook in, and you could see what size your hook was. So that was last week. So I had already doctored these, but I was having trouble then knowing what size my hook is because even when I was putting masking tape on, it'd be a little bit of a dilemma. So what I would have to do was to, to get one that has, look, look, look at the numbers rubbed off here. So for instance, this is a three and a half. And then I'd have to go and find another three and a half that already had something on it. And I could compare the two and I could say, okay, uh, that one's slightly bigger. That's a three and a half. So that must be a three. Um, and then when I saw this last week, I thought, well, that's really, really obvious. So I will be ordering one of those. And it'll solve my whole problem. Um, now, I have my favorite sizes. For instance, when I'm working with a DK and I'm crocheting, I tend to use a four, a four hook. So I actually have ordered a whole lot of fours, the four and a halves of my favorite hooks. And at the time when I ordered them, which was about two months ago, I thought, well, I'll just masking tape the, masking tape the whole lot of them. And then I thought, well, there must be some kind of grip out there. So I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't really find a grip. But what I did come across were these. These are foam grips for pencils. 
So I looked at them on eBay and I thought, well, if it's for a pencil, I know the size of a pencil. Um, I thought they probably will fit if that's a pencil size. It might fit with a good stretch. This is a three and a half. I thought it might fit with a good stretch over the um, commercial grip. And I thought, well, I'm definitely going to try it. And on the internet selling the product, they suggested that we apply, we, we put on the grip using either hand cream or dish liquid. So I thought, well, that sounds easy enough. And because I had masking tape on them, on some of them, I thought, well, those that look like this, I'll just add masking tape until it's the size of a pencil. And then I will put the grip on. And that's what I did. I started off with one and then another and another. And slowly I built up my little collection. Then I have a few more grips left. I bought a packet of, oh, I think it was 20. So I need two grips. I need two grips per per um, hook. Now the quality is a little bit different. Like this one here is quite smooth. And that one is, looks thinner and it's quite rough. This one here I used two different colors for no, no logical reason. Look how grimy this one is. So every now and then I'll give them a wash because I've always washed my hooks. Every now and then I take all my hooks to the kitchen, um, lather them up, wash them and drain them. So this is foam. There's no reason why it can't also be. Um, and as I'm working with white yarn at the moment, it's a good idea that I do that. I live in an apartment. I don't garden or anything, but... That's how life is. We just, we just, our hands just get dirty. So, um, I sat here this morning sorting out my different sizes to see which size I was missing. So, let me start again. That's a four and a half. And now, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the neck. You see there? Before, and I say, well, I don't know. Is the, is the head size the same? If you see it's different quality, you will see the head size is not the same. I mean, the head type, it's quite different. I do love these ones. So I look, so now looking at the next size, I think, okay, well, that's a four and a half. That's smaller, so that's a four. That's a four. I can see that's a four there. Yeah, that's a four. This one's a four. He already has a grip, but I'll just put him there for now. This is a three and a half. And this is a three and a half. This is a four. So I already have two that are fours that have grips on. This one is almost gone. That's a three and a half. And then I came down. This is a four. He goes there. I thought to myself, what are these sizes? Oh, well, that one's bigger than that one. Let me see. That's a three and a half. No. Nope smaller so he must be a three so that's a three and a half then he's a three but this one is smaller so he must be a two and a half yeah so i already have two two and a halves with the grip but this is a two so i'm getting some four ply wool today i already have some four ply where i ordered two weeks ago and i've been using it and um to make really small butterflies and I need the smaller hooks. So now that's a two and that's a two and a half. So I have already two, two, two and a halves with grips. So I don't need another one. But what I do need is a grip in a, a two. And I need a grip in a three and a half. So I'll put those two here. This guy, he can stay on the side. Um, now, I have an option of demonstrating, like with this one here, how to make a masking tape one. But I think that, see, here's a masking tape one. You can see inside there, there's masking tape. It holds firm enough. I haven't quite mastered the masking tape one. It's the only one with masking tape. And considering that I already have another one here, I don't need to make, make any more of those. But I'll definitely be making these two. Because th I know that these ones, they fit in. It's with a real jam, but they do fit in when they're small. Here's the other ones. It cost me like £4.50 or something. And when I ordered them two years ago from China. And I got a whole set of them. 
as I said, I absolutely love the heads. Handles are horrible. My, my hands get so tired with them really quickly. Now, these ones are bigger. They won't fit into the grip. I was actually looking at tubes for um, insulating. You can buy them on eBay as well. Uh, but I don't know how that will go. It will probably make it really big. So, you put all these aside. All that yabba yabba yabba. Let me get, I love my containers. Oops. Everything from the kitchen. This is an Eno's container. The juice bottle. So this is a juice bottle as well. It's got a nice pretty shape, so I cut that off. I'll put those in there. And, oh look, I'll show you my needles as well. Look how beautifully they, they store in there. It's lovely, huh? Stitch markers, stitch holder, sorry. Everything. <laughs> You'll laugh at this one. This is from the kitchen. Um, not from the kitchen, from the bathroom. This is a for mouthwash. This one. Really, I'm getting sidetracked today. Slid us somewhere. pencils in there I have I have another one in here with my pliers I haven't taken the sticky off yet of the pliers and then I keep the whole thing this over here is actually from Poundland it is for um, plants it's a plant tray so everything slots in there so it all fits on my desk so I'm going to use hand cream Tried both hand cream and dish fluid, and we're gonna take now because these two different qualities. I'm thinking of dividing them. Let's see which one. Okay, let me try that. Let's see how this works. I think the hand cream is going to be enough. I've used hand cream with one, and all the rest I've used dish liquid. So, <laughs> my poor desk. I need to actually change the foam on this desk going let's come to the end perfect Second part. See, that one is much looser. So I'm glad I put the, the good grip in the front. And there we go. I always use hand cream before I start working. I wash my hands and then I put some hand cream on. from the other way if you wanted to might be a little bit more logical and it's got a tiny head I don't want to snap that head off come on you can do it feel it moving there we go lovely touch more oh, 
not touch too much. You should come back feel easy. I need pressure, too much pressure on the head. Lovely. Okay, the bottom part. I know what you're saying. I could have put the bottom part on first, but it went on with no pressure at all. So I haven't bent the head. Oh, it's still fine. Okay, so there we go. This bottom part is just moving. Hopefully, because this hand cream does, it will dry out. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed that. My Your little uh, insight into my world of hooks. You can never have too many hooks. <laughs> and I've got my hands full of hand cream. Before I can actually push stop on my phone. Yeah, but I'll, be, I'll definitely will be buying one of those things with the hook things on the side. And then quite quickly I can I can gauge the size. So there we go. And bye for now.